All right, guys. So welcome to another uh, Harpoons uh, pilot mod video tutorial. And in this video, I'm just going to be walking you through how to install uh, Harpoons pilot legs on not just the Korea map, but also on other theaters as well. And there was a post made by Demo actually uh, where he highlighted uh, how to do this. And uh, Demo basically said. Uh, if you go into this weird directory and it's you go into Falcon BMS, you go into data, go into art, and then see it says cockpit art or CKPT art, go in there, and then it has a list of all the aircraft. All right, so let's say you wanted to change the block 30, all right, and you open up this 3D cockpit dot dot dat file, and it's uh, all it is is just a, a text file, and you're going to go down to where it says cockpit model. Okay, see this number here, number two? That's the number that you're going to look for. And if you remember on the first tutorial, if you open up your LOD editor, okay, we uh, essentially went over to uh, terrain data and objects and then Korea objects.hdr. That's the uh, objects directory. You open that up and on the left you can see it has a list of all of these different items right so if you remember from the uh, last tutorial what we did is we put the number two here and then we click uh, if you, we click normal and then we were able to replace that texture uh, so if I click 3d viewer here uh, you'll notice that the pilot legs are there and we actually changed these already so a lot of people uh, had questions with other theaters and I'm going to be doing Israel um, as an example for this and it should apply I haven't tried it in other theaters but it should apply to any aircraft in any theater for the leg mod okay and essentially what you can do is uh, just exit uh, LD editor all right let's say you want to open up you want to change the uh, 40i uh, the Israeli version of the block 40 and I know a lot of people had struggled with this they haven't had success with it so um, Basically, you open up the uh, whatever aircraft that you want to change. It doesn't matter what, what theater it's going to be operating in. And you click uh, 40i and then 3D cockpit. And you go down to um, the cockpit model 2. This is what changes the legs. Okay, so 3145. And then what you'll do is you'll go over to, and I know this is kind of confusing, but just follow me here, uh, LOD editor. All right, and here's the big mistake that people make. Instead of going to the Israeli theater, they go to the Korea theater, which is this default terrain data objects. They go here, Korea objects. You don't want to do that. You want to go to whatever theater that you're going to be involved in. So let's say I want to change Israel or, or the Balkans, right? Go to add on Israel, and then I'll go to terrain data, go to Israel, and then I'll go to objects, and look at that there's Korea objects.htr but it's not Korea objects for the original Korea theater it's it's Korea it's the object directory for the Israeli theater so when I open this one up now I'm gonna actually change uh, the pilot like mod in the correct theater that we're operating in so in here it's, we're not gonna put two remember if we wanted to change the uh, block 30 we would put two in here but the number for cockpit model number two is actually 3145, right? So I'll type that in here, 3145. And then let's check the 3D viewer. And you can see, now here's the cockpit, but there's no there's no legs in here, all right? So let me close that out. And we're going to follow the same exact procedure as the last video. Click normal, okay? Then um, you're going to click don't worry if this is an 82 it doesn't pertain to the last video just forget about this number hit number one on edit and then you're gonna go action just like last time uh, and you're gonna go append slash replace texture and you're gonna select your 8018 and it's gonna say it's been replaced and then you're gonna do the same thing action uh, append slash replace texture and you're going to go to your 8019 uh, file and it's going to say 8019 has been replaced okay but you're not done yet the last thing you have to do is go action and then you're going to replace the model okay and here's where you're going to select whichever one of these you want 
I always recommend only legs. And you're going to click open and click yes. And it's going to take a few seconds. And and then you'll just get the screen again. Okay. And you, you won't see any, you won't see, really notice that anything's changed. All right. So then in order to confirm that it actually worked, obviously you're going to go go to um, go to parent record. Uh, I'm sorry, go to, and then you can actually go to uh, CT records here. And you'll notice that 3145 is still there. So what we're checking is the cockpit model number two for the Israeli theater on the block 40i version. And go to 3D viewer, and boom, there's the legs. So you know that when you go in game in the block 40i in the Israeli theater, you're going to see legs because you you're seeing them here. Okay. Um, so let's, for example, let's say you did the 40i and you want to do the, um, I don't know, the uh, the F16D 40i, the Israeli version, or or let's say the F16 uh, conformal tanks version, right? So again, you're going to go into 3D cockpit data. You're going to go down to cockpit model two, and then it says uh, 3147. So I'm going to change this number to 3147, and I'm still working out of the Israeli. Uh, object directory folder. Go to 3D viewer and I already changed this. You can see that the legs are there. So I know that in the Israeli theater if I jump into the uh, the the block uh, or excuse me the um, the F-16I uh, conformal tanks that you're going to see the pilot legs in there. So that should in theory <laughs> with no guarantee should work for Balkans. It should work for any theater uh, that you find yourself in and then of course you can follow that up uh, since there is no uh, dedicated um, uh, map for Israel as of yet if we go in data and go into uh, terrain data let's go objects, Korea objects um, if you remember we have the original um, uh, original <laughs> knee board and here's the Korea map one that I have which I'll go ahead and replace that there's not an Israeli uh, map like this to my knowledge with all the frequencies on it um, until somebody makes one so if somebody makes one that'd be great because I love having the map here and then the frequencies on the right but um, what you can do is just use weapon delivery planner and of course, uh, in my other tutorial, I walked you to, through how to get this data card on your uh, on your legs, on your knee board in the game. So you know you have a little mini map here, but at least the frequencies will be right, and you can load that up using another tool. And again, I have a tutorial on that as well, using uh, the knee board updater. Uh, I have uh, Burners Israel, and uh, and then I just update that, and it'll load whatever you see on weapon delivery planner update complete into the uh, the boards in the game um, and the way you check that is well, you can see I just updated that and if I go into here and check my 8019 now it's gonna show um, whatever I had on the data cartridge uh, on the um, excuse me whatever I had on weapon delivery planner it's the same exact picture um, yeah so check out my original harpoon pilot leg tutorial if you want to know how to install that first off you should check that out uh, number two if you want to put data cards you can check out my other tutorial on that on uh, how to update data uh, uh, data cards on there and then uh, the third thing is if you want to jump into another theater like Israel or Balkans then you have to manually go through this process of going into the um, data art cockpit art folder and then finding out you know the three cockpit what what model number you have to change using LOT editor so I hope that's a good summary I know that's kinda complicated if you <laughs> if you're watching this video for the first time and you haven't seen the other tutorials none of this is gonna make any sense so you should go back and watch those alright um, that's um, the end of the tutorial and I hope that helps you guys out